Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today, super quick Lightroom tip. Have you ever been working away in Lightroom and you have an image that you're really happy with but you just think to yourself, if only I could just dial this back a bit. Wouldn't it be great if there was a slider, one slider that I could use that I could just dial back all my edits at once? Well, wouldn't you know, there actually is one. Actually, no, there isn't, I tell a lie. <laughs> but with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a hack, you can actually create one and it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward and let me show you what to do. Here I have an, a photo that I have edited. I've done quite a bit too, as you can see. I've got lots of different adjustments going on here. I have a curve, I have some saturation, luminance. I have a teeny bit going on in the color grading and I even have some masks applied. So I like what I've done, but I just, I'd like to see what it would be like if I just toned it all back a bit. So if you're running the latest version of Lightroom and you want to get an overall adjustment slider, you can do it. It's a little bit of a hack, but <laughs> bear with me. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward. So all you, what you want to do is um, you might want to make a virtual copy first, just so you don't um, destroy your edits, um, which is what I've done here. I'm actually working on a virtual copy just to be on the safe side. And all you need to do is start by creating a preset. So go create preset and you want to make sure you select everything, uh, but you don't want auto settings. Um, and also too, you want to make sure that you have support demand slider turned on because that's very important. Okay, and for group, I'm just going to save it in user presets and I'm just going to call it working. And the reason for that name will become clear in a minute. Okay, so we've created our preset. The next thing we want to do is reset our photo. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> uh, you see, there's a good reason for this. So then I will just reapply the preset I just created, which is working, and that puts our image back to the way it was. And why did we do that? Because if you look now, we have this amount slider, and this will allow us to drag our amount up and down. So we can actually tone it up or down, depending on what you want to do. And you'll notice that not only does it uh, adjust the amount of all the sliders, but it also adjusts the amount of the masks as well. So I can drag it right back. That'll bring us back to almost where we started. And we can drag it up past 100. And this will be like as if we'd continued pushing the sliders, um, which obviously that is way too much. So if you double click on it, it will go back to 100. So. Obviously, um, if you're going to do this multiple times, you don't want to end up with dozens and dozens of presets. Um, so that's why I called it working. And then if you want to um, want to do this on another image, all you have to do the next time you save it, instead of going creating a new preset, just right click on it and go update with current settings. And that's pretty much going to do the same thing. And that way you've only got the one preset the whole time. So as you can see, that's fairly straightforward. It, it only takes a couple of steps. And um, there is one thing to know about it. Um, as soon as you move a slider over here, so say if I adjust this, you see we have lost the amount slider. So this should really be the last thing you do or is kind of a adjust your amount until you're happy with it and then um, make further tweaks if you want, but just bear in mind that you will lose that amount slider. So it's not a perfect solution. There is actually one problem with this, and there's one situation where this won't work exactly um, as I've showed you, and that is if you have applied a crop to your image. So in that case, um, let me just show you what to do. It's a bit more involved. Um, I'm just going to reset this back to my come back up, um, back to my virtual copy, as so. And let's just say I have applied a crop. Okay, so. When you save a preset, um, it doesn't save the crop. So if I go to, let me see, if I just go to update presets, you see, uh, you don't actually get the option for crop. Um, so that's obviously no use to you. So um, what you want to do is, we still save a preset. So um, I don't, I haven't changed anything here, so I don't need to update. But um, you also want to hit then, so once you save your preset, before you hit reset, <laughs> just copy and check none and make sure you copy the crop okay so then reset apply your crop and then apply your preset so like i said it's a bit more evolved um and i know there's probably some people going that's way too much effort um but if 
if it's something that you would like to do, that is how you do it. Um, it's a lot easier if you don't have a crop. But if you have cropped your photo, just remember, copy the crop setting before you reset um, and apply it before you apply the preset. Um, in an ideal world, Adobe would give us an overall event slider and they have been kind of adding these um, things to Lightroom. So you never know, maybe in a future version. Um, but for now, yeah, it's a handy little trick to have because sometimes um, you can spend some time editing things and you, you can... Uh, Realize that you've done an okay job, but you just want to dial it back just that little bit. So even something like that, and that is how you do it. So there you have it. It's a pretty straightforward tip, and it's one of those things that you probably won't use that often. Um, but if you need to do it, well, now you know how to do it. Okay, so I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so see you next time. Bye.